Live from the Business Radio X studio inside Renaissance Bank, the bank that specializes in understanding you. It's time for North Fulton Business Radio. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of North Fulton Business Radio. I'm John Ray, and folks, we are broadcasting as usual, from inside Renaissance Bank in beautiful Alpharetta, and it is beautiful today. We love being able to talk about Renaissance Bank, and here's why. Because we have people that come to us, and they are tired of that big mega bank experience that they're dealing with. And if you're at one of those banks, you, I don't need to explain it to you. It uh, can be soul-crushing from time to time. And we love talking about Renaissance because we have folks that we refer to Renaissance, and they come back to us and tell us, what a personal experience they get from this bank and that Renaissance able to meet pretty much any need that can be thrown at them. And that's a pretty good combination. Go to renaissancebank.com to learn more, find a local office, maybe be in touch. You'll be glad you did. Renaissance Bank, understanding you, member FDIC. And now I want to welcome Teresa Rusby. Teresa is the owner, CEO, and protein snack creator, I love that term, by the way, that title, of TR Healthy Bites. Teresa, welcome. Thank you, John. Glad to be here. Yeah, great to have you here. Let's talk about TR Healthy Bites. How are you serving folks out there? Yeah, TR Healthy Bites is here serving our communities, providing healthy, gluten-conscious, protein-packed snacks. Terrific. I've got to find out more about how you got into that, that, that kind of work. It would, was it a dietary concern in your own family or how, say more about that. Yeah. So it's not so much of a dietary concern out of necessity, whereas having a certain like celiac disease, for example, mm -hmm. or gluten sensitivity, it was more on a health conscious mindset that just for the health and well-being of myself and my family, big into the health and fitness world my entire life, mm -hmm. started working out and active in the gym at the age of 14 in sports my whole life and through college and still to today. Mm. And for me, as a nutritionist, went to school for my bachelor in nutrition and dietetics. It's just always been so amazing to me on what food does for our body and the good it can do and the bad it can also do. So for me, looking at food as medicine has been something that I've always just incorporated into my family and teachings of practices of cooking health and have my kids involved in that as well. So really having the understanding that healthy foods is just a lifestyle is something that I wanted to make known to everyone to make sure they're having a part of their, their lifestyle, their every day. So traveling here and there, I'm always traveling with my kids to sports, sitting at soccer games, lacrosse games, flag football, mm -hmm. cheerleading, traveling around the country doing that, you'll always see me have healthy snacks packed in my bags for me and my daughters. And to me, I was like, how many other parents would love to make sure they have healthy snacks? Sure, you can buy things at the airport. And if you find a few healthy snacks here and there, they're very expensive and you may not find the best products. They're mostly opening packaging from a wrapper. And that's not the most healthy thing as well. Or where you go on site, what do you have at the hotel? What's there going to hold you over to your next meal? So I was like, okay. TR Healthy Bites is going to be that go-to snack when you travel throughout the workday to bring healthy snack options conveniently into mm -hmm. our lives. Yeah, that's terrific. So there, there are lots of healthy snacks out there. What makes TR Healthy Bites different? It's For me, I find TR Healthy Bites is different. It's because it's gluten-free protein snacks are very important to have, and they're very rare to find sometimes. What's different is having the unique combination of good tasting gluten-free protein pack snacks with good flavor, good texture. So that's the difference is finding a good tasting, healthy snack. So for me, I love cooking and baking. Growing up Italian, it's something we've always in our lives and something I do every single day. So making sure the right ingredients, finding different spices, adding them into the healthy snacks to make them taste really good so you don't know it's healthy. You don't know it's gluten-free. That's mm -hmm. been my passion. And that's the difference, I think, with TR Healthy Bites is people don't know it's gluten-free or protein packs or a quote-unquote healthy snack, but it truly is because of the quality ingredients and because of the taste and texture. Mm. Yeah, 
and I think when people hear gluten free, and even if you don't have celiac disease or don't have some other medical reason why you need to be on a gluten free diet, a lot of people have tasted gluten free, some sort of gluten free item along the way. You're right. A lot of them are, they don't really taste that great. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Either they don't taste great or they've got a weird texture or something like that. So they don't, it's not what you're expecting. And so I think people identify gluten-free with something that's a penalty. You're exactly right. And I think that is the misconception is that gluten-free products are bland and have terrible texture. And you know what? There's some truth to that because it used to be that case. Right. Um, But the market has evolved greatly. You can go to any restaurant now, right? There's gluten-free items on the menu. You can order certain things gluten-free. You see the GF symbols next to a food item that states it's gluten-free. So we have more access to gluten-free now. So the market's truly evolved into a better place. And TR Healthy Bites is excited to join in that evolution of gluten-free availability. And the taste and flavors and blends really have evolved over time. It, the market really has expanded because it's been requested. It's been needed by so many consumers, whether like you mentioned, they are gluten-free as a necessity or they're by choice. So there's more availability and us coming into this space and my passion for good tasting creations of food and snacks is pairing very well. Why do you want, we understand why those that have to have gluten-free by necessity, we understand that. Why do you want to make that selection regardless of whether that's a requirement for your lifestyle or not, right? Why is it, why do you consider that to be a healthy choice? Yeah, that it's a really great question. Gluten, when we consume gluten, but it has an effect on our bodies and choosing healthier options throughout the day that may be less gluten or gluten-free are just overall health beneficial. It naturally reduces inflammation. Gluten will add more inflammation to our bodies. Mm. And if someone has already has inflammation, occurring, which most people do, or if they're, say, God forbid, recovering from an injury, a major injury, you're going to have inflammation there while you're in that recovery process. Adding more gluten to your diet is adding more inflammation. Yeah. So reducing, it can reduce inflammation. It helps with just our natural metabolic, our metabolism, increasing our energy. Um, And one, it's better on our digestion. Gluten is a little bit tougher to digest in products. That's why people that are gluten sensitive have a hard time digesting it or breaking it down. They just can't. So that's why they can't have it. So just think the general person to break down gluten, if they have less of it, it's less they have to break down. So therefore you're going to have easier on your digestion, which just helps overall. A lot of our issues that happen in our gut, a lot of our mental stressors, hormones and bacteria occur within our gut. So if we take better care of our gut, including less gluten, you're just adding more health benefits overall to your body. So that general person reducing gluten on a daily basis in some form, maybe it's just in a snack, maybe it's one meal a day, having less gluten, a gluten friendly or item, you're just doing overall benefit to your health. Mm -hmm. So the protein piece of this, so it's not just gluten free. It's protein packed. I like that term. So why is, why protein packed? Why is that so important? This is the best question and I can't wait to answer this question because protein packed foods are just essential. Mm -hmm. Most people, if I talk to on a daily basis, say, oh, I'm having a hard time getting my protein. I need to get more protein. People have this misconception that increasing your protein or having a high protein diet is only for athletes only right. for bodybuilders, those that are super active. No, no. Protein is an essential building block of our being of the human body composition. It's the building block of ourselves. It's the building block of our muscles. And John, you and I both have muscles, you know, whether we're athletes or not. Right. So we right. all need to make sure that we're sustaining healthy muscle. Uh-huh management, muscle growth. As we get older, we naturally just lose muscle and break down. So keeping that stable and and maintained, let alone proteins are not just for building muscle. They're building all the protein in our cells that help our metabolism. People that are interested in losing weight or managing their weight, 
increasing your protein is amazing for that. Mm. Not just recovery, recovering from healing, from just overall muscle mass, or just curbing your appetite. When you have a meal that has less protein, and you have another meal that maybe has a little bit more protein or balanced, you're more satisfied. You can be fuller longer. So therefore, that does help right there with mate management and just holding your hunger throughout the day and you're not snacking and picking on, you know, snacks that are not so good for you with empty calories. So protein is truly essential just for the overall well-being, our hair, skin, nails, great additions of protein to our diet, which are hard to get sometimes if you're not particularly watching how much protein you're getting throughout the day, because it's so easy to eat carbohydrates or fats and carbs seem to be our most intake. And then protein is a little bit low on the totem pole there. So if we are you know, not conscious of a balanced meal, most likely you are getting less protein. So to flip that switch and look for protein rich foods and natural food sources that are high in good quality protein, meats, fish, legumes, beans, wild farm raised salmon, mm-hmm. all these great protein sources and natural foods. And then of course, getting some supplementation if you need here and there, because it's hard to always be on track with everything. Even though I think I'm on track all the time, you know, you do need those supplements here and there. So it's just essential for our overall well-being of our body, our maintenance, our growth. It's just longevity. Teresa Rusby is with us, folks. Teresa is the CEO owner of TR Healthy Bites. So what who are the beneficiaries of protein pack snacks and other foods for that matter? You mentioned weight loss. Those that are looking to lose weight, they need more of protein, but who else? What, how do I self-identify here, Teresa? Yeah. Anyone that's looking to increase health benefits in their lives, just a maintain a healthy, active lifestyle, which we all should be doing or looking to do, it really serves everyone. It really serves everyone that is looking for a good, healthy snack, good tasting, wants to curb that indulgence of a sweet treat. Maybe they love chocolate chip cookies and they don't want to kind of overindulge in a typical high calorie cookie loaded with sugars and fats and things like that, but want a different alternative and still curb that craving and satisfy it with a good, sweet indulgence without the guilt. Our children, our youth, parents, those that are on the go, busy executives throughout the long work day, you go hours and hours, most likely not having the proper meal, missing some meals, missing snacks, not staying hydrated and drinking throughout the day. The most important thing is to have things on hand. So if you're living a busy lifestyle, having healthy snacks on hand is going to be super important. Of course, those that are gluten-free are looking to be gluten conscious, that have a real sensitivity to gluten there's better options out there. And that was, I'm excited to provide that, but really just providing the opportunity to have it available for anyone looking to add a healthier option into their lifestyle without it calling it a diet. It should just be a part of your lifestyle. Reaching for a healthy snack on the go, especially is super great to make them portable, to take with you and have it on hand. So really it's, we serve just a variety of people. It's just, it's limitless and who can and should be trying some healthy options. So I'm sure I've got listeners that are impatient with me at this point, but let's get to what this is all about. Let's get to the products themselves, yes. right? So what kind of healthy snacks do you offer? So some of my go-to classic, I call it my of two different departments of TR Healthy Bites. Mm -hmm. We have our TR Healthy Bites snacks. These are your go-to for your pre-post-workout, your healthy protein muffin with your coffee. On-the-go afternoon snack in between meetings, getting you through that long work day if you're a teacher or a student, having it a late night snack. So my peanut butter protein bites, almond butter protein balls, these are gluten-free, packed with protein, got electrolytes, antioxidants, really sustainable energy. And for me, this is something I created because going to the gym for me and having that sustainable energy to get through a good workout to me with, was balancing with hypoglycemia. So feeling dizzy, blacking out a little bit, couldn't finish my workout. 
something was missing from my diet. I wasn't having enough energy before, or having enough balanced meals before or after. My electrolytes were off. So I realized I wasn't, I was needing a little bit more nutrients before. These protein balls have really helped me sustain sustainable energy through a workout to have, to allow me to get the results that I needed. So that line, and then the protein muffins are packed with nine grams of protein per muffin. Everything is under 200 calories. These are a great addition to a morning breakfast. I enjoy them post-workout. If I'm having something before a lunch, afternoon snack in between. The protein muffins have been super hits. The chocolate is a big hit. The new one out is the pecan banana nut that everybody loves. And then we have the treat side. So then there's TR Healthy Bites protein treats, which falls into our protein cookies. So for quite some time, people are asking me, you got to get some cookies. You got to get some cookies. I'm like, all right, if I'm getting cookies, they're going to be protein cookies. And they're also going to be gluten-free or gluten light. I have some that are just gluten conscious, not 100% gluten-free. And I have uh-huh. ones that are hundred percent gluten-free, but the cookies have really surprised me to be honest, as far as keeping again, that quality texture, mm-hmm. chewiness of a cookie, gooey on the inside, crispy on the outside. We got the classic chocolate chip, of course. And yes. then the big seller has been the cookies and cream, gluten-free Oreos in the as well, giving a great Oreo taste. And then also the peanut butter monster cookies have been a huge hit with peanut butter and M&M's. Those are gluten-free as well. Mm. They're made with only almond flour, so it gives you a lower carb content. So every cookie really is focused on the nutrient components and the macros. Did you develop all these recipes yourself? I did. Wow. I did. That's yes, fantastic. Did. Yes. Yeah. So how much trial and error did you have to go through? <laughs> how many trays of cookies did you have to bake to perfect? It? Yes. Including the one batch that I threw away last night. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's several dozen. And I wish I kept count. But to me, it was, it's tricky to cook gluten-free or bake gluten-free. It's tricky to also bake protein type snacks. So I just doubled myself up. All right, Tressa, we're going to do gluten-free and protein pack and let's see how it goes. So taking a recipe that I found was pretty interesting and then manipulating myself through the baking process is a whole big science. Go figure in Mm -hmm. baking when it comes to it. So figuring out the proportions that work to make sure I get enough protein into the product without having it dried out, still have a great taste and texture, and then still give the macros that I'm looking for, because that was my main piece as a nutritionist and someone developing healthy snacks is the macros. What are the proteins? What are the carbs? What are the fats in each of these products? While it's tasting really good and the end result is what I'm looking for. So there's been several dozens. The muffins, they can get a little toasty and a little bit crispy and they're still going to taste pretty fine. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm fine to eat a burnt. Some people are like, hey, do you have any defective muffins left over? I'll take those. I'm like, <laughs> right? actually, I do. Yeah. Some co-workers have definitely had some of my products that didn't make it into market to sell, and they still taste pretty good. <laughs> Got it. I know enough about baking to know that it's a science. Your ingredients have to be just right. You, you can't cannot throw in a smidgen here or a dash there. You got to. That really took a lot of work. I guess that's the point I'm getting to. Yeah. The work that you must have gone into to perfect these recipes must have been exhausting. It is. It, it has been interesting. Um, great learning process, right? It's been a great learning process. I'm still perfecting. I'm still learning, especially when I'm trying a new product. My, my hope is that I find a great base of my protein cookie and then I can build off that with some variations, which I'm doing. But it, it's really been fun to, to get into that kitchen. And I've said for years, baking is my, cooking is my therapy. And I get in there and I put music on and I just focus and it's just fun to create and mix. And what I've learned too is you can't just add a little bit of this. You can't just add a little bit of that. Weighing everything for me, my kitchen scale has been my Bible and having everything by the grams and weighed out to make Mm. sure the proportions are right has really been important. And that's basically how I've developed and found the right balance of enough protein to the other ingredients that I'm using to give a great balance where still you're going to get an incredible product without it being too dried out and the texture being bland. See where you offer online ordering, where else can we buy the product? Do you have retail outlets or 
So that is actually the next exciting step of TR Healthy Bites is, awesome. is connecting with some local retail as um, I do have a commercial kitchen license. So mm-hmm. as a food retail sales retailer, I'm able to get into retail space. And coming this fall, I'm super excited to do that. I already had a few conversations with some local businesses to get that started and have in their shops, coffee shops, stores, gyms, facilities where people can go around town and find TR Healthy Bites. So you're going to see that coming um, this fall of 2024. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. So right now it's currently uh, local pickup drop-off and nationwide shipping. Okay. And I'm assuming people just need to check in on the website and you'll update them on as these outlets become available. Yes, absolutely. you'll, You'll update there. So what are the... You've got some promotions that are going on right now? Yeah, we're starting some fall promotions. Okay. I work at a lot of uh, local gyms in the area, like Burn Boot Camp, for example. Okay. And a lot of great gyms are having a lot of fall specials and new challenges coming out. And the same thing for us. So on our social media, TR Healthy Bites and my website, we're going to do some promotions out there for those that are ordering out of town for shipping. I'm going to have some shipping specials going on and then 15% off products just to get people started. Interested? You're not sure what it tastes like? You're not sure if you want to take that step? Mm -hmm. I want to really give that little bit of uh, incentive to get off people, a little bit of a discount and just, hey, give it a chance. And promise after that, we're going to be on a continuing basis there to do some deliveries and shipping. What's the first product you think people ought to try? The muffins or the mm-hmm. cookies or the pro, uh, energy bites or what? It's That's a good question. It, it depends on really what they're looking looking for. If they just want a sweet treat to fill that, I need oh a healthy snack after dinner or a late night snack before I go to bed, and I really just want just a healthier cookie. Definitely the protein cookies would be something to go to. If you're looking to add it to your active lifestyle, if you're just a fitness enthusiast, you're trying to increase your fitness this year, or weight management, things like that, definitely the protein muffins and the peanut butter and almond butter energy bites are going to be your go-to. They certainly are in line with your most macro-friendly and energy-sustaining snacks throughout the day to have on a daily basis, just like any treat or cookie. For example, it's something you want to have in moderation. That makes sense. Teresa Rusby is with us, folks. TR Healthy Bites. Teresa, I'm sure you've got success stories. Folks that have come back to you and talked about the changes that they've seen in their life because of your product. You want to share one or two? Yeah, absolutely. And that's what makes me most excited is that those that have my products, when they message me to reorder, they're excited for that. When can I get it? When can I get a batch? When can I have this? Just this morning it happened. Working with some athletes that really changed their performance to be able to sustain their energy and keep consistent with their workout regimen. I do have a couple of professional athletes that support this where they are so particular on their diet that they have to. He's a professional BMW motorsport racer mm. and they wear those tight fitted suits and they have to keep it all together and their mental energy and folk nutrition is a huge part of that. He makes sure he has those with him when he travels and on the road. And, and that to me is just, I love hearing that because it's becoming a necessity. I work with my daughter's school and actually making large platter of 48 protein muffins for the football team at Kings Ridge uh, awesome. School. These athletes and parents want their children to have healthier snaps, snacks and options. And it's something that the kids enjoy as well, where mm-hmm. they're not like, oh, this is healthy, this is gluten-free. They don't know the difference. Right. They love how it tastes and then actually excited about it. So for me, having our athletes excited about it, or I just had a few people that said, oh, I have a friend, I have a neighbor that's gluten-free. I can't wait to share this with them because they've been looking for these products. And to me, that just makes me feel good that people don't have to say no to a cookie, say no to a chocolate muffin because they can't have it. Life is too short. You should be able to enjoy some good indulgence of sweet treats and not have to feel restricted. Great words from Teresa Rusby, folks. TR Healthy Bites. Teresa, this has been great. And I Congratulations on your work and the success you've had to date and keep up that good work. We're just, we're delighted we could have you in at this point to shine a light on that. So thank you for that. But before we let you go, we got, we have to get to the most important question, which is your website, how folks can find you and be in touch. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's been a pleasure to be here. It makes me excited to share this. And they can just visit trhealthybites.com and see all of our products there and how to get in touch. And also on our social media, Facebook and Instagram at TR Healthy Bites. Easy to order at trhealthybites.com. Teresa Rusby, thanks again. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Hey, folks, just a couple of quick things before we let you go today. If you are looking for classic, authentic, traditional Italian cuisine, and you're looking for those dishes to be made fresh, cooked to order with ingredients that come out of the garden in the back of the restaurant, there's not many choices around. Here's one, Casanova Italian Restaurant. They have a family atmosphere in which they've had that garden back behind their restaurant for quite some time. I know the restaurant's about 26 or 7 years old, and I can't remember when they put the garden in, but let's just say they were farm to table before that was cool. They bring in those tomatoes and corn and peppers and zucchini and herbs and make their all their dishes cooked to order. And actually they have vegetarian and gluten-free options. Teresa will be glad to hear about that. So if you are looking for that kind of place, go to casanovarestaurant.com to learn more, make reservations, and they're easy to find right there on Highway 9, just north of McFarland. And they do great catering work, by the way. Check them out for that. Also, I've got a book out. It's called The Generosity Mindset, A Journey to Business Success by Raising Your Confidence, Value, and Prices. If you're a solopreneur, small professional services firm, and you've got issues with your value, your positioning, your business development, your pricing, this book may be for you. Go to thegenerositymindset.com to learn more about that book and where to buy it. Also, I just want to thank you, anyone that's listening, you are wonderful (laughs) because you support us in so many ways. And here's the thing. This is show number 799 for North Fulton Business Radio. And we've only gotten this far because of you. I don't know what we expected when we started this show, but I wasn't thinking 800 shows. But here we are right on the cusp of 800 shows. And your support makes it all worthwhile. Thank you for supporting all the great guests that we have on the show. You send us guest ideas and people that we ought to interview. And you like us on social media and support us in so many other ways. Thank you for doing that. You help us live into our mission to be the voice of business in the North Fulton region and beyond. And I'm grateful for you. Thank you. So for my guest, Teresa Rusby, I'm John Ray. Join us next time here on North Fulton Business Radio.